Humans versus AI in cybersecurity. Like it or not, AI is on the move and is now competing with the human brain for its place in our world. We must thus understand the place of LLMs, large language models, in areas such as cybersecurity and in planning towards hybrid systems that integrate both humans and AI within our corporate infrastructures. If we want to see the future integration of AI into cybersecurity, Iturb et al. outline an overall architecture that integrates AI into every single element of cybersecurity. So let's look at the three at three core roles with different levels of expertise and experience and see how AI can play a role. O'Brien et al. outline that a full model lifecycle solution is required for the integration of AI. Security Operation Centers, or SOCs. Within a SOC, we can have different types of analysts. A Tier 1 analyst is there for the first-line investigation and will have to deal with a large number of alerts. They must often dismiss or accept the threat on an alert in a relatively short time window and have to understand the complexity of disparate systems which are generating the alerts. But each alert, even though it is a low-level alert, has the potential to be something risky. It is thus a stressful environment for a Tier 1 analyst, as they must worry that a low-level alert might be something that is part of a more significant attack. Typical alerting infrastructures involve AWS Guard Duty, CrowdStrike, Microsoft Defender, and Splunk. When a Tier 1 analyst defines a malicious alert, we can then move this on to a Tier 2 analyst who will take a deeper dive into it. This will often involve understanding more about the context of an alert and producing a more detailed report that could be presented to the hosted organisation or to auditors and regulators. Finally, we have Tier 3 analysts and who hunt for vulnerabilities within the organisation and are proactive in their approach. The Tier 1 side is likely to see the increased usage of AI as the volume of alerts can often overwhelm a human. The work of Faye Yazi defines a model with vague definitions of a threat and then matches these to a formal MITRE tactics. Charan, Chatan et al. have even extended this to generate plain text to map into the MITRE model and produce malicious network play- payloads. Also, LLMs could aim- aid the protection of smaller organisations and could enhance organisational security from the integration of human knowledge and LLMs. One area of AI that is definitely on the rise is in the automated creation of reporting documents, such as within a cybersecurity threat intelligence infrastructure, or CTI. For this, Parina et al. created the Automatic Generation of Intelligence Reports, or AGIR system, to link text data from many different data sources. For this, they found that AGIR has a high recall value, 0.099, without any hallucinations, along with a high score of this syntactic log odds ratio, or SLOR. Tier 3 Analyst Threat Hunters and Pen Testers When it comes to detecting vulnerabilities, a recent experiment found that ChatGPT3 found 213 security vulnerabilities within sample code, whereas one of the better commercial tools on the market found only 99 issues. Although their tool provides context in a more structured, although their tools provide context in a more structured format. After manually reviewing a sample of 50 out of 213 of the vulnerabilities detected by ChatGPT, only one was a false positive, but both tools created many false negatives. 
When it comes to pen testing and vulnerability analysis, Expo analyzed AI against a number of human testers for a range of key vulnerabilities. These included the normal ones of cross-site scripting, uh, server template injection, command injection, SQL injection, uh, privilege execution, and, and so on. Overall, they found that the AI significantly beat the less experienced staff for the de detection of vulnerabilities and was on a par with highly experienced testers. But generally, the AI entity was good at detecting easy and medium vulnerabilities, but was beaten by highly experienced testers for the hard to find vulnerabilities. AI going evil. But if we flip this to AI generated offensive operations, we can see that AI will get better in understanding how not only to detect vulnerabilities, but to use this intelligence to attack systems. For this, Lloyd's Register found that AI-driven vulnerability analysis was one of the greatest threats for AI-generated threats and closely followed by campaign planning and execution. Conclusions. Like it or not, AI is creeping up in terms of competing with the human brain. While it can't match us for detecting advanced security, cybersecurity threats, it is definitely useful in filtering alerts that can swamp an analyst. It is yet to be seen, though, whether it can take over for the more in-depth threats. And when it comes to zero-date threats, then humans are still generally better than AI, especially in understanding the context of a deployment. My advice to anyone in cybersecurity is to avoid being too much of a generalist with your expertise and to focus in on being an expert in given areas. AI can all too easily beat the generalist. Thank you.